I hate to say it to you guys, but I clickbaited every single one of you guys for this video. Metal Pulse sucks. The new support's absolutely horrible. Like, the board only puts up VFT, Savage, Jackal, Herald, Alcahest, Totem Bird. And, like, that's so bad, man. It's literally not even as nearly as good as the Dragon Link board of, like, two and a half negates that puts up Savage and Seal. Like, bro, they can even evolve into Dugong. Like, that's pretty powerful. So, I'm sorry to clickbait you guys. These last two weeks, I was so sad that I didn't even post a video on Metal Pulse. I spent the past two weeks crying about the Metal Pulse support because it was so bad. The VFD, Savage, Jackal, Alkahes, and Totem Bird is a bad deck. Then Metal Pulse is the baddest deck of them all, baby! Because it's the best deck of them all! Let's go! It's the best deck, baby! You see that's a meta! I'm Metal Pulse! Metal Pulse, best deck, bro! Dragon Link, bro! Who? Get out of my face, Dragon Link! Who are you? Get out, Dragon Link worst deck. Let's go. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the five base combos of the new Metal Foes. Expect them to will trigger to summon out to level nine, and then you're gonna make VFD. The new Metal Foes, no one is playing it correctly, and it irks my soul. It irks my soul. If you love Metal Foes, you stay tuned to the end of this video, and I'm gonna teach you the five base combos that every combo derives from. I'm gonna show you guys three of my personal favorite lists that I made on different ways to play this deck. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, and you guys gotta stay tuned to the end of the video, because this video, oh boy, it's a good one, bro. It took me two weeks to make. So enjoy the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and hey, wait a second, this is a Metal Foes deck, right? So why don't you get a beautiful metal balls like you might play map, baby? Get yours now! Get yours now! And it's time, baby! It's metal balls time! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, boys. It's time for the new Metal Foes. And let me tell you, this deck's absolutely insane. So, first things first, I'm going to teach you guys the new Metal Foes cards, and the new Metal Foes support, and what they do. First, Metal Foes Melcaster. We're going to go super fast. Metal Foes Melcaster is very simple. The scale effect is the same as all Metal Foes cards. But, it has an actual effect. The effect being, when this card is destroyed, you can add a Metal Foes from your extra deck to your hand, but not use it on your scale for the rest of this turn. Hence, this is just simply, by far, the best Metal Pulse monster. This is mistake number one that a lot of Metal Pulse players do. I just went ahead and just saw some random lists on the Pendulum group, or the Endemian group, that randomly post Metal Pulse lists that they have, and it's horrible. They play one Melcaster. Like, what? You do understand that this does everything that normal Metal Pulse does, except actually is a plus one. So this is a must of three of in every Metal Pulse deck, and it's a level seven. Next, Metal Pulse Vanisher. No one plays Vanisher, despite the fact that it's the second best card that came out in the whole in the new Metal Pulse support. Why? This is the only Metal Pulse card that specializes itself for free. Hence, now Combination searches Vanisher when you send it to the graveyard with Magician Souls, which you're playing 13 Magician Souls in your deck. And if you don't know how you play 13 Magician Souls, just stay tuned for a little bit, I'll explain how. Next, Metal Pulse Fusion. Uh, pair Metal Pulse Fusion. This is literally better than the normal Metal Pulse Fusion. This is also an amazing card. This means that when you get Nibiru, now you can pair Metal Pulse Fusion with the random Metal Pulse in your extra deck and the normal monster in the field, the token, and get a free Alkahest. So at least you get Alkahest through Nibiru. Uh, next, pair Metal Pulse Fusion. You use it at, while you're comboing to get rid of some extra cards and you're going to see just how good it is and you VFD turbo with both this and Vanisher. So now every turn you should VFD plus X negates depending on how much you could do. All of these three must be in your Metal Pulse deck regardless of the style of Metal Pulse deck you have. No matter what, all three gotta be in it. On for your, your new extra deck Metal Pulse card. Metal Pulse Amalgam, trash. Metal Pulse Azoplas, trash as well. They're both not very good. If you're playing pure Metal Pulse with no actual cool combos, None of my combos involve any of these because they're literally just bad. They're just simply not good. What Metal Pulse Amalgam says, uh, it says it is going to send the monsters up to the graveyard by a card effect. This implies that you have to literally pop it with your own Metal Pulse card. That's just bad. Now, if you want a Metal Pulse fusion with the Amalgam, you put the Amalgam in the middle zone, and the purpose of it is to be able to Metal Pulse a Pendulum Summit, uh, 
with Amalgam in the middle, uh, making it seem how like Master Rule 5 doesn't exist with Metapools, but it doesn't exist anyways in a link format because you just do cool stuff before your pen summon. If you're resulting in Amalgam to hope to save your Metapool pen summon, what like that's just so bad. It kind of that's so like to me, it just feels like it loses to one hand trap, right? It's, it's so like ugh. it's it's shit. Don't play it. Uh, next Metapool is Azoplas. This card's so bad that I don't even know what it does. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys uh, some more important cards that you need to know uh, so you could properly combo with all your Metaphors cards. So now you know what the new Metaphors do. You already know what the old Metaphors do. They all do the same thing. You play 21 Metaphors that do the same thing. They just say, once per turn, you can target another face of card, destroy it, set a Metaphors card. Okay, but what are you destroying? Yes, you could play three Bismuth gear and three Vanisher and get some effect off of it. Sorry, three Melcaster and three Bismuth gear and get some effect off of it. But what are you actually doing? Like, what are you actually doing is not that much of a plus. So, the first card I'm going to teach you guys that you need to play in every Metaphors deck moving forward is every single FA card known in existence. FA cards are what break Metaphors. What people don't understand is that Needle Fiber is a card, this is a tuner. And this gives you free four free pops for Metal Pulse cards. And you're not playing no boring, like, maybe activate two Metal Pulse scales, Pen Summon. No, no, no. You're playing straight up combo summon, 45 monsters a turn, Metal Pulse combo. You're not playing no control version, okay? Even though it's also control, because you're controlling victory. Let's go. So you're literally going to play as many possible FA field spells as you possibly can. Because all these field spells do is when they get destroyed by a Metal Pulse card... You get to add another field spell, or you get to add an FA card. Then you get every auto navigator, which you normal summon it, add another FA card, and it just keeps never ending loop of 500 summons and combos so well with Metaphor's Vanisher because you get to pop them all and then keep summoning for free. Why not? And it's a tuner, and you get free, uh, a free uh, needle fiber, and needle fiber was special another auto navigator field spell make the auto navigator level three special auto navigator from your graveyard. It's never ending. Don't worry, I'll explain it in the comment tutorial. Uh, it's part of our five comment tutorials that I'll show you guys. Every single Metaphors deck moving forward must play the FA cards. Next, everyone knows how broken Magician Souls is, right? Now we know how, how broken these FA cards are. What about Magician Souls? So when Metal Falls uh, cards set com double combination, because you can open more than one Metal Falls when you play 30 Metal Falls in your deck, that now Magician Soul instantly becomes the best card in the whole deck. But what happens if I told you that you're not only playing one Magician Souls or three, but you're actually playing 13? Because you normal summon the Abductor, Way Off Thou, and you get that looks like nine, right? And now you think you'll trip. How are you going to get access to 13 Magician Souls? Well, we play Servant of Endymion, not for Jackal, not to protect from hand traps because this deck auto wins versus all hand traps, but to get the Abductor, and the Abductor will search the souls. And then here where the synergy comes in, where people might think, okay, you play 13 souls, but how are you going to get the spell counters? Well, you're playing a 10 plus FA field spells that all continually destroy each other, and all Metaphors destroy scales, so Servant and Abductor resolve every single time, and Servant will bring Abductor to bring out the souls. And now your opponent's gonna have to negate 10,000 cards to get the one Souls out. And you don't care if Souls drop that gets negated. It's the fact that Souls sends the combination to be able to search your VFD turbo pieces that are required, like Vandal Falls Vanisher. Now that you guys understand the Magician Souls aspect of the deck, the Metal Falls aspect of the deck, the new Metal Falls cards, the new FA cards, it is now time to take you guys to the combo tutorials so you guys can see how it works for yourselves. And one last card, a little bonus round here. A little bonus round for cool cards that we need to all know that work well with Metal Falls. How about Smoke Grenade? You can literally pop smoke, hard draw smoke grenade, pop it, get a free plus, and look at your opponent's hand. So I have a cool bonus combo that involves triple smoke grenade in the deck and a cool combo with needle fiber summoning out Violon Cube. Where you literally needle you literally if you, you literally smoke grenade the three times in one turn because Violon Cube is not once per turn and Cross Sheep gets the special summon Violon Cube from the graveyard. Anyways, it's super cool. Now you gotta understand the theory of Metal Falls, how broken Metal Falls are. Now I'm gonna show you guys the deck list that I'll be using for the four combo tutorials and then I'll be showing you guys more deck lists afterwards in this super, super extreme analysis of Metal Falls video. So let's go.
and this is the deck list. Do me a favor and find one brick. So, a lot of people confuse Metal Falls with bricks, right? Well, you're playing 13 Magician Souls. Since you're playing 13 Magician Souls, combination in Metal Falls Fusion, do not brick. You actually want to open them. Opening a Metal Falls combination is the equivalent of opening a Metal Falls Wolf Flame in a deck that plays 13 Magician Souls. Because you just send it and you add it back. They're actually good to draw and Fusion is going to draw off of. As for a pair of Metal Falls Fusion, you don't really want to draw that. And all the FA cards, the FA cards are absolutely crazy. Like, they are insane. They are literally better than Magician Souls to resolve. The FA cards alone, as you see by the Needle Fiber combos, one auto navigator resolving with a few Metal Falls in hand is just game. Auto win. And what hand trap is your opponent going to do? Veiler the auto navigator? Gamma the auto navigator? I don't care. Like, it literally is hand trap proof. Now, you you max out all Metal Falls cards, and you play 60 because there's just so many good cards you want to play, and yeah, you don't care if you draw the combination, you'd still rather not see it, but when you draw Souls with it, it literally just doesn't matter, it's the same, same thing what completely. Now, I'm going to show you guys the 5 com base combo tutorials so you guys understand the deck better, so let's get it. Combo number 1. This is when you open full combo. This is when you open 1 Magician Soul, like a way to Magician Souls, you play 13. A way to an FA card, you play 13. It's the most consistent deck. And at least one Metal Fall. So here we open two Metal Fall, a Souls, and an FA card. Now you guys are going to see the power of it. So we're going to use Silvered here to pop the Field Spell to get another Field Spell. Then we're going to use Volt Flame to pop the Field Spell to get Auto Navigator. We have Double Combination at this point. And we're going to Normal Navigator to get another Field Spell. You guys see the plus here? And the plus didn't even begin. Because here we're going to use Magician Souls to send two cards and draw two cards. And then we're going to use Metal Balls Combination to add two Metal Balls in hand. Metal Balls Combination, this is base one of the combo. Where you open one FA card, one Souls, and you'll get, you play 13 Souls, you play 13 FA cards. Uh, this is what you search with the combination. You always search Vanisher. It's very important for the combo. And then the other card you search combination is the scale you're missing. If you can choose a low scale, you take Vanisher, you take, you take Metal Caster as the low scale. It's the best low scale. If you can pick a high scale, you take Bismuth Gear. So if you notice, Konami made it, so you have... A, uh, an effect Bismuth Gear and Effect Melcaster is both scale 1, scale 8. Make sure to have access to them because they're both plus 1s. At this point, you can Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is plus another Auto Navigator. Here you can activate the Field Spell. The Field Spell effect will make Auto Navigator level 3. The Auto Navigator used for Needle Fiber will trigger in the graveyard, special summoning itself, making itself a level 2 and making the original Navigator a level 1. Here you're going to make Link Ross. If your opponent Nibiru's you right now, tell me guys, do you care? Do you care? How many cards do you have in your hand? You're going to have six after desires. You literally don't give a flying fuck. It's not going to do anything. If they Nibiru you right now, you vanish her, pop this, the field spell and the metal foes, get a plus, token and vanish her, go into cross sheep, and then you take the fusion you just brought and Mithrilium, and you're going to get out uh, Selene, Jackal, Selene, Axis Coat, Selene, and Appaloosa. You're going to get Appaloosa, Vanish. You're going to literally have the same board as VFD and multiple negates. And you didn't even pen summon five yet. We're going to go Herald here. We're going to activate Vanisher to pop the Volt Flame and the Field Spell to add another Field Spell. And now we're going to activate the Field Spell here to make both level two levels higher again. So now uh, I'm going to activate Field Spell to make them all these Field Spell, all these monsters level three. Now, they're both level 3. I can make Totem Bird. And then here we're going to go Crash Sheep. You did not Pen Summon yet. I'm going to get out all the Metal Pulse spells from my graveyard. Uh, we're, we already used all the field spells, so we can't get any more plus. I think plus 4 is enough from one card. That one Auto Navigator plus the whole, this whole thing. It's unbelievable what one Auto Navigator does. And for anyone who doesn't want to play FA cards, it's ridiculous. Now, people are saying, Jewel's a card, Triff. Jewel will not be a card when Metal Pulse cards are legal. You could also say Needle Fiber won't be legal or Link Ross won't be legal. We don't know which one's going to get banned. I doubt both will. But, so for now, we're going to stick with this combo. When they do get banned, I'll show you guys how to do the combo. When they do get banned, inevitably, by then we're getting Electrum. So, just insert Electrum. Uh, here, we're going to uh, now be able to Desire. It doesn't matter what we draw here. We have everything we need for the combo anyways. We're going to Pen Summon here. We're gonna, we didn't even draw a card that could be Pen Summon. We don't care. We already had everything we need for the combo. So we're going to Fusion here, get Mithrilium, Cross Sheep will trigger, you could get Metal Marcher out from Cross Sheep if you want to, 
Uh, you can special a level four and lower from your graveyard and make uh, Quackasaur to draw a card, and then Mithrilium will trigger to bring out the level nine uh, Vanisher, which which you use from your extra deck. It'll bring out Vanisher, so you go VFD like that. But there's no reason to. What we're gonna do instead is bring out a Souls. We open one of our 13 Souls, obviously, because you know we play 13. We're gonna go Fusion to draw here. Uh, and then we're gonna Mithrilium effect, put some combinations back uh, to put a card back in our hand. We're gonna go Selene. Selene's gonna bring out Jackal. We're gonna get counters on Jackal here. Uh, uh, the effect of Melcaster will trigger to add a free Silvered. We just cannot scale this Silver for the rest of this turn. Big deal. Bisman Gear gets some more plus. And now we're gonna do a really cool play here where I'm gonna use uh, uh, Get Abductor to have enough counters here. I'm gonna use Parametal Post Fusion, the one of the new cards, getting rid of. Uh, Vanisher from my extra deck, a Selene, and a Souls. The Souls gets banished because of Herald. And we're bringing out a Crimson Knight. And now, at this point, you have uh, VFD and then some. But what we're going to do instead is Metal Pulse Fusion, the Mithrilium, and the Silvered to make an Alkahest. And then the effect of Mithrilium will trigger to summon out the level 9. And then you're going to make VFD. Now, this hand was very good, obviously. This would be the full extent of the combo. But you could also do this very easily without the Totem Bird. If the Totem Bird wasn't there, you'd still, the typical combo would be Herald, VFD, Alcast, and Jackal. We had everything we needed to for the full five combo, but uh, this is it. So this is the main combo one, uninterrupted. If you got any period or anything at that point, it literally just doesn't fucking matter. You go Clash Sheep and you do the exact same thing, except that you don't have the Herald, big deal. You're still gonna have VFD, Jackal, Alcast versus their five cards, it's still GG. So now I'm going to show you guys another combo. This combo is going to be what happens if you do not draw an FA card. We play uh, 16 FA cards actually because we're out there could search an FA card as well. So what if you don't open one of the 16? How do you combo then? I'll show you guys right now. This one is without any FA cards. So this you open four metal foes and one of your 13 ways into Magician Souls. All of them would have been the same way. We're going to just draw here. We're going to, uh, sorry, pop there. Malkas is going to add the Bisma gear. So we cannot scale Bismuth Gear for the rest of this turn. Doesn't matter. We're going to summon it out anyways. We're going to painful decision. Uh, summon out Steel in. Uh, get some fusion cards out before we desire. At this point, we got all the fusions out of the deck, uh, which is what we wanted. We have too many Bismuth Gears that we want, uh, but it's okay. We're going to summon. We're going to add. So at this point, it's kind of the same thing. Just no combo. You're just going to like, it's a new way you look at it. You, you use your fusion cards. You still didn't pen summon yet. And... Selene will bring out the Jackal. Boom. We got Appaloosa. Now we're going to Pen Summon. This could have been a lot better if we didn't add the Bismuth Gear, but we, we're, we weren't allowed to add there. And then we're going to Pen 4 or Pen 3. We're going to Fusion uh, into Crimson Knight. And then draw one. And then we have VFD. Uh, we could pop here to get another Fusion and get Alkahest. And uh, we're out could add a scale for next turn if we want to. Or better yet, we, we didn't even have the Tuner, but now we did. Uh, so this is just what happens if you don't draw FA, it doesn't matter. You still put up a bunch of negates. The FA card just make it way easier. So this is just combinatorial two. Uh, what happens if you don't draw an FA card? If it was a little too fast for you, you could slow it down if you guys want to. And there's definitely ways we're gonna make it even better. But this is simply just more than enough negates to win. Now I'm gonna show you guys combo number three. Combo number three being when when you you don't draw. A magician Souls. How do you play when you don't draw Magician Souls? And now I'm going to show you guys how to combo when you don't open Magician Souls or one of your 13 ways into it, but instead just like an FA card. So it's okay. Like Souls is so powerful in this deck just for it, the cost even. It doesn't matter if it gets hand trapped because you just want the combinations to go to the graveyard. But here we'll see how to do it without it. It's very simple, but you guys need to know how to do it correctly. So this way is more susceptible to hand traps. If you don't open one of your 13 ways to Magician Souls, opening one of your 13 Magician Souls kind of guarantees that unless this hand trap is droll, you're playing through literally any single hand trap. But this way, even through a hand trap or two, you're still fine. I'll just explain how to do it. And if you guys love what you see so far, this is a super analysis video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and let me know. Sign up on Patreon if you guys want to see more of these because I'm going to do another on Patreon. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these in the future. But on Patreon, I'm going to do more in-depth ones. And in the future, I'll even do how to play around hand traps, how to go second with this specific deck. Because I really think this could potentially be the future of Pendulums. So, uh, here, we're going to do a cool play. We're going to pop that. And we're going to actually pen summon a little bit early here. So we pen summon right off the bat. We could have, you could fusion, uh, pair metal fusion and not really go that neg if you want to. 
and uh, save your pen summit, but by doing so, it's a lot more susceptible to hand traps. This is the safest through hand traps. And remember that uh, the only hand trap that really hurts you is Nibiru. At this point, if he hand traps you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can never underestimate the power. So let's say he hand traps the needle fiber right now and you can't use its effect. You don't care because the most important cards, remember Link Rise, you've got two tokens, there's three monsters to fusion with, and you have Metal Balls Fusion, Pair Metal Balls Fusion, you can do a lot of stuff here. But if it does resolve, just showing you guys a base combo. So the base combo, if you don't open the Magician Souls, would be you'll summon that. The field spell activated now, bringing it out the other, kind of similar to the other combo, except you don't have a pen summon this time. But the, we only pen summon two times. Pen summon's kind of just like your backup to hand traps. So that's all. Uh, we go uh, into the Metal Marcher here because level two. And then we're going to go into the Herald. We're going to put this in the Cross Sheet, Parametal Pulse Fusion, and Mithrilium. So we got a Mithrilium right now and a level one Auto Navigator. We're going to bring a Metal Marcher. Uh, we're going to use Mithrilium Effect to bounce. And we're going to set another combination. Uh, Melcaster Effect will add the silver to our hand. And then at this point, we're going to go into Croc. We're going to draw one. Mastery, we're not even going to activate the effect of Servant, but we're going to fusion these into that Savage. Then we got VFD, even if we don't open the Magician Souls, and a lot of people think this deck can't play without Magician Souls, you're still going to end off with a Calamities, Savage, and a Herald. Uh, at this point, I don't know if this is actually legal, if anyone's watching knows, but I technically have no legal place to set the Metal Pulse card, and it's not a cost to pop. Am I allowed to pop the Needle Fiber here? You get a free plus for next turn. That I wasn't sure. If that's the case, just keep the Wolf Flame in hand. It's not necessary to activate at all. That's a really cool thing about Savage as well. That if you already uh, exhausted all the pluses, uh, you could pop your Needle Fiber and just free set. Well, here I'd have to because I have no other place to set it. Uh, otherwise, if that's illegal, I'll just keep it in hand. So that's how to do it without. Every single hand, as you saw, ended on VFD plus two, three negates. This has Savage Herald VFD. The other version had with Souls. Uh, the other version had BFD. Uh, Jackal, Appaloosa, and uh, Alkahest is very good. Now I'm going to show you guys how to combo when, in a very specific way, when you hard draw the Magical Abductor and it's your only way to Magician Souls, when your way to Magician Souls is your normal summon, but you need your normal summon for the field spell to Needle Fiber combo. So I'm going to show you guys how to combo when you need to, when you need to save your normal summon. All right, and right here, we obviously need to use your normal summon on Magician Souls. I prefer Magician Souls over the F8 engine because the Magician Souls ensures you place through hand traps, no matter the hand trap, unless it's Droll. Uh, Nibiru does nothing with the souls. You're always protected because you always save your pen summon for last, and typically your Vanisher for last for Cost Sheep. Uh, so at this point, how are you going to be able to get the field spell to the, uh, the field spell, adding Auto Navigator, Auto Navigator to the graveyard? It's going to be a very cool way, actually. So. Here we're going to pop, get some combination out. We're going to get enough spell counters to get the auto navigator. We have, uh, sorry, uh, with the field spell to get the souls. So after we pop, we had an auto navigator last. Here we're going to special the magician souls. Magician souls is going to send jackal. Obviously get as much plus as we can possible. But now we already know summon. How are we going to get the auto navigator to the field? Uh, well, the best way is actually a very heads up play. Uh, I opted first to get the field spell instead of the auto navigator. I can search the auto navigator later. Because you have three field spells, so they each search each other. But make sure your last search is the tuner, if you know, unless you need it right away. So I'm going to actually save the field spell for later, because I'm going to pop it with Vanisher. So now that I popped it with Vanisher, now I search the, the, the auto navigator. Now, now I'm going to link the Vanisher and the Abductor into Cross Sheep. And then I'm going to fusion the Adamante by sending the uh, Navigator and the Vanisher to the graveyard. Then Cross Sheep Effect will trigger, summoning back the auto navigator. And since auto navigator's effect is when it's normal or special, now you can search another field spell. So as you saw, how it was just one field spell. One field spell led to four more field spells and auto navigator. They are completely for free because they're swapping off with Metal Fools cards. These are plus ones every single play that you're doing. Every actual activation of card we've done so far this turn uh, of effect, literally plus plus one. So at this point, we uh, didn't need a fiber combo yet, but we'll protect from Nibiru. If Nibiru is then, yes, it would be a little annoying, but you still have your pen summon, you still have part of desires, you still have a lot. And you can't forget that he's giving you a token too, which helps you make Alcahest even easier. So at this point, we're gonna go into Needle Fiber now. Uh, summon, typical effect here. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna fusion out first. And desire, now that all the fusions are out, we're gonna desire before we link cross, because we link cross, uh, we won't have exactly enough space. So I opted actually not to activate the auto navigator. We're going to pen summon everything from our hand there, Mithrilium, and we're going to put up the same 
it's gonna be Savage Herald's VFD uh, very easily. Like, it's very easy to do. The only issue that I ever find with it is when you don't draw Magician Souls, but as you guys saw, there's still, if you know how to combo correctly, it's okay, it doesn't matter. And you're not playing one Magician Souls, you're playing 13. That's the point of this deck. 13 in a 40 card deck might be too much. I don't think so. I'm just a big fan of the 60 because it shuffles everything up. This is just another look at the deck list for whoever wants to see it. I always see all Metal Force cards are extremely good. And the one Vanisher, you always search off the Magician Souls. You got your 13 Magician Souls here. Uh, sorry, not off the Magician Souls, off the Metal Force combination. And then you got 369, uh, 36, 9, 10, 11, 12 FA cards. I opted for 13, but you play FA Test Run for going second. Going second, the FA cards, they're not good enough to negate. And the Metal Force cards are not good enough to negate. Because none of them are big plus ones, you know? So no one actually negates them. And if you negate a field spell, you just get another field spell. Like, you play so many of them. So it's like negating an uh, auto-navigator might not even do anything. Uh, so at that, well, that's why you play so many. And then a lot, the last search you take going second, when you notice your last pop of Metal Foes, because no one pops Metal Foes cards, you search FA Test Run, and they're not going to expect it. So all those free plus one, plus one, plus one is going to result in the last plus one after you plus four, FA Test Run popping their card with the free auto-navigator you're getting. So one FA spell card resolving e literally equals a plus seven going se going second and a plus six going first or something along those lines. Terrific math. And yeah, so that's that. Now I'm going to show you guys another deck list here that utilizes Smoke Grenade. First, I'll show you guys the bonus combo of Smoke Grenade. So combo number five is Smoke Grenade combos with Metal Foes. So as you see, Smoke Grenade is crazy in Metal Foes. It's literally not a brick going first or going second. You could even say, if you want, if this is playing competitively, I might have played around Droll if it's this format, but none of these Metal Force cards are legal until next format, and I would not play this without the new those Metal Force cards I showed you guys, especially Parametal Foes Fusion. That just saves you so many bricks, and it gives you a great base every single turn. But uh, as you see here, we're going to just, so we got rid of the one smoke grenade, and you can smoke grenade if you really want to play around Droll, just normal summon any monster and smoke grenade it. And then your opponent uh, just gone from the Droll. If you're playing Metal Force this format, Triple Smoke Grenade is an absolute must. With everyone playing Droll and uh, all the hand traps that are actually going around. Because uh, uh, it just sets and then looks at the hand. Or also gets rid of Nibiru, etc. So here we're going to do a cool play. Where Cross Sheep, uh, after we're, we're going to fusion with Cross Sheep. And uh, guess what? Cross Sheep effect will trigger after you fusion. Just got to wait for the fusion first, obviously. Getting a lot of pluses here. And now, that's... Uh, we had another smoke grenade activated. Then so that's two smoke grenades, and then we're gonna search Herald again because uh, we'll special out a Vylon cube via Cross Sheep, and then it's gonna go into Herald, and then Herald that's gonna search us a third smoke grenade from our deck. So we're not gonna end on a gigantic board, but we're actually gonna smoke grenade them for three. We went through really a box. We could smoke grenade pop again, and you get uh, like that's just unbelievable, man. That's just unbelievable. Uh, you get VFD, double Herald, Alkahest, and triple smoke grenade. Uh, so you can look at hand three times. There's definitely lists out here where I could have done Calamities to discard a card, and I could have Omega if I wanted to. Uh, actually, one... No, I did not Metal Marcher for this. But, uh, if, yeah, if you open Metal Marcher, one of the Herald becomes a tuner, and they'll double Herald, go into Omega. Literally keep them at zero cards. Like, that is hilarious. A full hand loop. But, that's we could say that for another video. So, the decklist for this is right here. This is the Smoke Grenade decklist. 100% main deck, Triple Smoke Grenade. Going first or second. Even in versions without the Vylon Cube, I would still play Triple Smoke Grenade. Smoke Grenade in Metal Foes is not a brick. It's a free plus one. And there's even a 40 card list that I made with uh, with no FAs. Because FAs are great to pop with the Metal Foes. But a combination of uh, of the of uh, the Smoke Grenades and playing a lot of draw cards. Going first or going second, you get free knowledge of their hand. And any deck that plays hand traps, you get rid of the hand traps right away. And it gets rid of the Drolls. So your Drolls, your Souls, all that could resolve. I'm going to show you guys a 40 card list. This right here is a 40 card list where it did triple abductor, triple souls, and then triple wear after thou. Uh, you don't play the servant or abductor and the servant master in this list because you don't want the epic field spells to give you infinite field spells, uh, counters for your servant. So you just play the nine magician souls, but you play so many draw power. So you play upstart into the void and triple desires. There's so much draw cards there. And then a drawing smoke grenade, just a free card to pop. The cards you want to pop of metaphors in a 40 card list would be the Melcasters, the Bisma gear, which is four. Three smoke grenades, seven, and an abductor or jackal that's forced in the scale. So that's like eight ish, eight to eleven cards you could pop that are not metal pose cards. You get at least a value, good about decent value out of it. I'm not a fan of that. I like it more with FA cards because it's more way more explosive. It doesn't have any needle fiber combos. So this is a lot slower, but playing 40, you might see the sphere modes and lava golem more. 
so it could be even better. I need more chance to draw Smoke Grenade, which going first is just like an auto win deck. Going second, it's still fine. Smoke Grenade going second is fine, but you don't have the FA test run for going second, but it should be fine. Anyways, so those are the five base combo tutorials and three deck lists and all the five points of Metaphos theory you guys need to know. Now that you guys have all of those in your mind, you guys, I, th I think you're not ready to play Metaphos. This video, I tried something new where kind of old, back to the old trip where I did an extreme analysis on decks I'm very well versed in. If you guys see my replays with Metaphos, I'll be it's just solo testing so I can figure out for you guys. The whole point is solo testing, I swear it's for YouTubers to teach their viewers how to play the deck properly. But uh, that is what it is. If you guys like this analysis style video, it maybe it's good once a month because too much information could be boring, but too much information could also be absolutely vital to your path to winning in Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'm gonna enjoy the video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to get a beautiful trip game playing on tripgaming.com. We got Metal Balls play mats while supplies last. And if you guys like this style of video, there's lots of in analysis videos on my Patreon down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.